Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I am going to show you uh, my answer to a recent Friday challenge. Uh, this is the solution I came up with for Surajit. Uh, he wanted to know, he wanted to create a stacked cylinder chart to display the sequence of different products in a pipeline. Um, where the products and the quantities were dynamic. I think uh, uh, and he wants Excel to change color depending on the product. So uh, Pete gave a great VBA solution and you can check that out on the blog. I'll put a link to it in the show notes. Uh, what uh, you see here is a, is a representative image of what uh, Surajit wanted to do. So you see HD, HSD03 is this dark blue, dark blue, and every time it shows up in the pipeline, uh, it is going to have that same color. So you can see over here it's in the pipeline. So I believe it's this is the first one in the door, then HSD03 is second, then they did another one of those, um, and it's probably a use case of maybe manufacturing or you know what, what's in pipeline and, and what can they do uh, based on product to kind of see how that's coming out. Now, uh, Surajit was having problems doing this, and um, as you can see, if you have your data in such a way and you want to create it, um, a chart, you can go up to insert, you can do a stacked 2D bar chart, uh, and then what you want to do is you want to switch the row and column. Now you'll notice it's not giving Surajit exactly what he's looking to do. Um, you see the first slice is a blue, second slice is red, and then when uh, this one here should be blue like the first one, uh, and then this next one should be red like the first one. So um, it thinks these are individual data series and it doesn't recognize that they are parts of the same and should have the same color. So one thing you can do is you can come in and double click um, on a data point and you can change the fill to red, uh, but it's just too much of a pain in the butt to do, um, or the dark blue I should say in that case. Kind of a pain in the butt to do, plus every time you change your pipeline you have to go through and change all the colors and make sure they're right. So what was the solution without using VBA? Well, um, what I came up with is <clears throat> we modified the data, just the data table, just slightly in that we wanted to create a cumulative percentage over here. So you'll notice I have a cumulative um, amount. So 1179 is the same as you see right here. If I uh, change that, you see it's 1179. And then on the next one, it's adding those two numbers together to get the 25887. Now, what we've done is we have decided to uh, use dates in our horizontal axis um, in order to get us uh, what we're looking for. And um, what, what I did is, as you see over here in this chart, I'm charting the data in a different array um, from what you see over in the data table. So all Surajit has to do is enter a new uh, product, enter a new value, um, and the cumulative will take over. And these formulas over here will just determine where are the slices for MSO3, HSD003. Um, and it's using a combination of a step chart type format. You notice that um, so uh, uh, for HSD01, we've got this value right here. And then in the next value, we have another one. And that's telling Excel where to start and stop. It's saying start at 1903 and stop at 1970. And um, you'll notice that I've got dates here in my horizontal axis, and you might be saying, why are we doing that? Well, let me, let's go ahead and actually change these from dates to a general uh, or comma style. And look what our Excel chart does over here. This is a horizontal, um, or should, I'm sorry, this is a area chart over here on the right. So if I click on it and do control one, um, you will see, oops, that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go up to design and change chart type. Uh, I did a stacked area chart. I think you can just choose area chart. It doesn't really matter. Um, but you'll notice that what happens with Excel is uh, once you've got numbers in here and not dates, um, it is going to think that it is moving to that next point. So from this point, it's moving to the next point down uh, to the next access point, And that's not what we want to do. So we want to use date as our horizontal axis. And then we're going to use a, sort of a complicated formula that you see up here. Um, it is uh, the same formula that I used in the step chart example. Um, if you search on the blog for step chart, you'll see this formula. Uh, but essentially what it is doing, it is matching um, the product 
and the date over in this table range over here. And if <clears throat> the uh, amount, um, or if that matches in both of those, uh, then it's gonna put a one in this cell. If it doesn't match those, um, it's gonna put a blank or an NA in that cell. However, um, what we need to do is we need to keep checking above. So let's go ahead and click on one of these cells. Notice that I'm checking both rows right above it to see are we duplicating one if so we're gonna probably be in a whole new area um, and therefore this one right here should be blank um, if uh, uh, and it will use the formula to calculate where those are so you'll see we've only got ones or blanks or NAs I should say um, within the chart and um, uh, what it is doing is Excel, I'm just saying, hey, since this is just a stacked area chart, we only need to know um, the pipeline values, uh, representative by size, color, because it's within the product range. Notice HSD03 um, has got different values here, and that's the purple that you see throughout the chart. And so we just needed a representative height that didn't matter how high to give it a stacked bar chart type. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this a little bit more in depth and how we created it. So what I did is I uh, added another column to our table that says cumulative pipeline because we just have the values of our pipeline right now. We don't have the cumulative amounts. And uh, if I get rid of these as uh, uh, date values, you can kind of see it's 1179 plus 24,000 is 25,000 plus another 10,000 is 35,000, so uh, so on and so forth. And so that gives us our cumulative pipeline, but we want to leave this as a date because we want to use the special features of Excel uh, that it is going to treat this as a date access and not a number access or categories or texts. Um, then what we want to do is uh, we want to come over and create our chart range. Um, our chart range is going to be the products that we have um, over any of the various products that we have, but we only need to enter those in once and uh, the formulas will take care of the rest. Then, just like we did in our step chart challenge uh, recently, this is a formula that what it is doing, it is going and looking and saying, am I the very first value here? If so, um, I want to be zero. If not, then I want to find the next value. Uh, and then what I've done is it, with this trunk of row of A2, since I'm looking for the small value, what I want to do is I want to repeat this uh, twice. So you see that the uh, very first smallest date of March 24th is repeated twice. And then it's um, that formula just carries itself down so that it, it creates that step chart. So it goes over to 1998 and goes up. To 1998 and then it's going to go over to 2009 and it's going to go up and stop at 2009 so um, we can create our area chart that way then i've got sort of a complex formula here but it is the same a very similar but just slightly modified version of our uh, step chart challenge formula that i created it's a little bit um, intense but uh, certainly you can pair it apart we don't have enough time to go into the details and mechanics of every single one of these uh, formula cells, um, but what they're doing is it's just one formula copied all the way down and it's doing an index and a match. So index, it's going to say re go out and find uh, the product name um, and let's go ahead and match this product here to that and that's going to help us find um, our values and then it's also going to match um, and make sure are we on the right date or not. Uh, and then using some of the other formulas in here, what we're doing is we're saying, you see this range here in blue? Um, so you'll notice I am right here in this blank cell. If I click on it, what this cell is doing is it's checking both rows right above it. And if it finds two ones in consecutive order, it knows that this cell should be a blank. If it doesn't find um, two ones right in a row, it knows that it might be a formula um, that we need to look at and it could possibly be the next value. Because um, as you see in the step chart here, we have uh, for HSD03, um, we've got a one value here from 324 of 1903. That's right here, 324 of 1903. And it's stopping at 1970, which is the next value. But we've only got HSD03 there once. Um, but we need to have that value start at the previous uh, 
range and end on its current range, and that's going to give us the section that we have here. So anyway, we uh, end up copying this formula down and across. You can find a little bit more of those mechanics, like I say, uh, on the blog, and I'll put those in the show notes. Um, and then what we want to do is once we have our range, we can highlight um, even past our range and go up and do an insert. And this is going to be an area chart. So here's our area chart right there. Looks just like we were uh, showing you here in a second. And so you know, notice that HSD03 is purple. Um, and so it's always purple here, and it's going to be every time it shows up, it's going to show up in purple. Now, the one thing that we do need to fix, uh, we don't need to show our horizontal uh, vertical axis, so we can just go ahead and delete that. We don't need these grid lines. We can delete those. Um, and then finally, what we want to do is we want to modify this uh, horizontal range um, because you see it has dates here, but we want to show the values. So what I did is I just went ahead and double-clicked on this, it brought up my format access uh, dialog box. I just double clicked right on the horizontal axis. Um, we can force this to be a date um, as an access type, and that's what we're doing. And then uh, what we want to do is we want to change the number. Um, so we have this alignment right here. We want to change this from horizontal to vertical, and we're going to rotate it 270 degrees. And then what we want to finally do is we want to change our number to actually be not show it as a date, but show it as a number, which is what it truly is. Excel just changes the format to look like a date. So let's do general, and you can see that our values are now showing up down on the bottom. Now you can tweak some different options here of what your major and uh, units are and your base units, um, and so that you can get what I've got over here, which is uh, just a larger uh, section or range um, from 7,000 to 14,000, 22,000. So you see I've modified my major value to be 21 years and I've set the base to be years so that we just get a lot uh, more breakage um, of the pipeline. And uh, so this was a one way that you can do it. It's using an area chart in a step chart type fashion um, to use a formula uh, that will copy down over here and then using Excel and making this a date horizontal access type instead of a text or a categories. Um, and so if you combine that with an area chart, you can get this uh, pipeline usage chart to look just like a stacked bar chart, but have the colors right for the products that you're looking for. Once again, this is Steve equals true. Please head over to my blog and you can download this sample file and tear apart the uh, formula um, on your own. Also, you can find other great tutorials that we discussed here, like the step chart tutorial and others at excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Also, please consider subscribing to my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.